Alright guys, so as I said in my last video, I'm going to make two separate videos about um, one being my background, kind of sort of how I gained the weight in that um, video uh, will be posted before this one. This one will just be talking about all the methods I use to lose over 100 pounds. I realize some people just want, you know, ideas on how to lose weight. They don't really need to hear all the extra mumble jumble. So we're just going to get right into it. So I started working out hardcore, um, really getting into, I need to lose this weight. Because as I mentioned before, I got on the scale and I was 303 pounds. So I was like, I need to do something. I'm too young to be this big. So I started working out. I had a treadmill. Um, I was doing that for maybe a month and I wasn't really seeing any results. So I started focusing more on my diet. At that point, I had cut out pop. I just feel like that's wasted calories. You don't need Coke and Dr. Pepper and all that stuff. Um, it tastes good. I get it. People like the carbonation, but I don't know. I wasn't too addicted to it, so it wasn't um, hard to get rid, rid of. So I got rid of that. Um, cutting back on my sweets was a little bit more difficult, um, but I'll talk about that a little later. Um, so I was trying to cut out some things, you know, cut back on chips, things like that. So I was at work one day and a coworker told me about the military diet. And so I, um, the both of us decided to do the military diet and I'll post a link maybe at the bottom um, to, if you want to check it out. But the military diet is three days and they tell you what to eat. So one day you might be eating um, for breakfast toast and a boiled egg. Um, for lunch you might eat crackers and some tuna. For dinner, you might eat two hot dogs, some broccoli, and you do get a cup of ice cream. So, um, so it's three days, um, if I remember correctly. And I did it twice. You're supposed to lose 10 pounds in three days. Now I'm thinking. I'm pretty sure it's three days. I pr probably should have double checked, but I'll leave the link um, down below. You're supposed to lose 10 pounds. Um, and I think there is an extended version, but I only did the three days. Uh, it is pretty tough, especially someone who's not used to um, restricting themselves that much and actually sticking to it. So, but um, you're supposed to lose 10 pounds. Both times that I tried it that year, I lost four pounds um, and kept it off. So that's pretty good. Um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it as something you do long term. Um, I just think it's a good jump start. Um, I feel like maybe it kind of tricks your body and your body's like whoa what's going on so I don't know but it definitely worked for the two times that I did it so like I said I knew that it wasn't something I could keep doing um, or shouldn't keep doing so I decided to do a 1500 calorie diet I read somewhere that um, people do the 1500 calorie diet so I was like eh, let's give it a go so I got a food journal and I was tracking my food um, and it was actually working for quite a while um, so maybe from February to to maybe July I lost about 26 pounds um, but then I eventually hit a plateau and so I did some more research on the 1500 calorie diet and I read that for, uh, a, I guess, a grown adult woman, they should be eating more than 1,500 calories. I know people that eat 1,500 calories and less, but I listened to what it said because I hit a plateau and so I figured it wasn't working anymore. Um, so August of 2016, I took another look at Weight Watchers. So I always knew about Weight Watchers. My mom was on it off and on um, and because she had the book. And so I used to look at the book to see how many points things were. But in my other video, I mentioned I never stuck to things. I wanted the weight loss to be quick. Get off of me. You know, I wanted it to be right now. But so I never really stuck with any diet. Definitely wasn't looking at Weight Watchers. And the, the main reason, it's a dumb reason that I didn't start Weight Watchers sooner is because I thought it was for old people. I don't know why I thought that, but I did. And so I was like, well, I don't need to do Weight Watchers. That's for like older people that, I don't know. It didn't make any sense. Stupid. 
So at that point, I was like, I need to lose weight. And I feel like when you're at the point where you know you need to get healthy, you're willing to, you're willing to try anything. Um, so it's important that you try something that's healthy, though. You don't want to get too crazy. Uh, so I tried Weight Watchers, or I started August 2016, um, and just so y'all know, I do pay $20 a month for that if you're curious. Um, and so when I first started, and I'll explain Weight Watchers just real quick. I feel like a lot of people, if you are watching, you probably know how Weight Watchers works. But you put in your weight and your height and um, your target goal and your goal in general, maintenance, losing weight. I don't know if there's a gaining weight um, optional there uh, but there's definitely a losing weight option um, so you set all that up and based on your weight um, your current weight and your height they give you your daily points um, so when I first started they've made some updates but when I first started I was at 45 daily points and I believe I still had the 42 weekly points so every day your 40 the 45 points would uh, renew so I would eat all the 45 points Monday, Tuesday, um, it would be 45 points again. The 42 weekly points, they only, um, I guess, renewed. I feel like that's not the right word. But um, they renewed the next week, so on your weigh-in day. Um, so Wednesday um, through Tuesday, you can use your points. They won't um, renew until Wednesday. So that's how it works. As you lose weight and you update every week, the points go down. So they changed a lot of things in the two years that I've been doing Weight Watchers. They, um, a lot of points now are zero. A lot of points now are zero. A lot of food now um, is zero points. So, for example, eggs, um, they, I, I think one egg was two points, but now it's zero. Um, chicken, Sorry, chicken used to be, uh, I don't know how many points it used to be, but now it's zero. A lot of meat is zero. Um, I think fruit has always been zero. Um, a lot of vegetables have, were always zero, but they changed a lot of things, so obviously my daily points changed. Um, right now, at the weight that I am, um, I have 23 points. And I've heard a lot of people when they start Weight Watchers, they feel like, and this is this happened to me when I first started, they feel like, oh my gosh, this is so many points, 45 points, this is, how am I supposed to eat this much? Um, and I think the easiest way to do Weight Watchers, and to be honestly, to lose weight in general, is to plan your meals out. A lot of people might not like that, but if you're one of those people that will, you know, if you're hungry, you'll just go for anything that's quick then you'll definitely want to plan your meals out. So if you're you, you're having a busy day, you can just come home, know that your meal is ready, and just, you know, warm it up and eat it. Really important to plan your meals. I, because even now when I don't plan my meals, I end up getting fast food, or I end up just eating whatever's in my apartment that's just, you know, mainly snack food. So, um, so that's how you get your points, plan your meals out. Um, and then you definitely want to eat all of your daily points because, uh, according to Weight Watchers, that's the amount of food that you need in your body um, to keep it going for, you know, all the nutrients and the vitamins. And I'm not a nutritionist or a dietitian, but they said that's how much you need daily. So you don't want to um, skip out on your points. If you have two, you know, three left over, I think that should be fine. But that was my issue before. You know, we always think less is better, but with Weight Watchers, you want to eat um, all of those points. So anyway, so I did Weight Watchers. I started it, and like I said, I was struggling at first because I wasn't eating all the points. Once I talked, because they have 24-7 expert people who have been on Weight Watchers, been successful with it, helping you, so you're able to chat with them, and um, that's pretty much what she told me. Started eating all the points, and I started seeing the weight drop. So it started August 2016. Um, it wasn't until January 2017. Yeah, around that time that I lost the 50 pounds. So um, a little over a year that took me to lose the 15 pounds. Obviously, there was ups and downs. But I will say during this whole journey, I um, 
like I might gain a pound or two, but I've never gained a substantial amount back. And I think it's because I've been losing it so slow that I'm just more aware of what I'm eating and I'm aware of um, how my body feels now, you know? So I know if I'm gaining weight and I don't like that. So, um, so I think it's annoying that it's so slow because I want it, I want to just be in my goal weight, my goal body, but I think this is for the best long term. So 50 pounds uh, by January 2017. Um, and that year, 2017, I also joined a gym. And so I started going hardcore with um, cycling classes. I even bought cycling shoes. And um, I was doing that from maybe April to July 2017. Um, and I will tell you, exercise is important. It tones you up. It helps your heart, you know, all, all the cholesterol levels, all of that stuff, all the healthy stuff. Exercise is really important. And mentally, too, it really helps clear your mind. So I don't want to say that... So I don't want to say anything negative about exercise, but I don't think weight loss is a benefit of exercise. I can't really say out of the 100 pounds that I've lost that exercise contributed to it, I will be honest. And I think that's why it's so hard for me to be stay motivated to work out because I know it's not helping me lose weight. Um, but it is helping me, again, long term, so I need to just find something I enjoy. I like cycling, but I don't know. I also like sitting and watching YouTube instead. So <laughs> that's something I'm still working on. But honestly, diet is, I feel like someone said 80% of your weight loss exercise is maybe 20. Um, but that sounds about right. So uh, I've been back and forth with the gym. I don't know. I would encourage you to get started with exercising while you can enjoy it find something that you like and just kind of incorporate it into your lifestyle um and so this year may 2018 that is when i hit my 100 pound mark um and both times the 50 pound and the 100 pounds i reward myself with a tattoo the 100 pound i actually reward myself with this um ear piercing here um, so just so y'all know, I do reward myself, not with food, but, um, I'm like really into tattoos now. I only have three, but I try to save them as rewards because they are so expensive. And, uh, so, um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, I did do the military diet again, um, recently because I have had times where I plateau. Like right now I'm at a plateau at 192. Um, it kind of goes from 192 to 190. Sometimes I can get to 189 and then um, I mess myself up. I can't, I say it's a plateau, but I think it's more of I'm not being consistent with what I eat. So during the week, I'll be good because I plan my meals. Um, and maybe I'll make another video about planning my meals because I feel like this is getting long. So, um, but yeah, so during the week, I plan my meals. And on the weekends, I just... Uh, uh, it, it, I wouldn't say it's a cheat meal, but I eat out. So I might eat Panera, which I know isn't the healthiest, but it's also, you know, it's not a hamburger. It's not McDonald's. I can find something healthier there than I can at other places. I honestly go to Wendy's a lot. Um, it fits into my points, the grilled chicken sandwich, the small chili, and I feel okay about it because there's some things that fit your, into your points that you know isn't good. But I think that's what I like about Weight Watchers. I don't have to completely cut off things. If you want to continue drinking your pop, drink it. But know that's going to take up points that you might want to use for something else. So, um, yeah. So, I did the military diet again because I just needed a jump start. Um, I actually tried the five-bite diet, which um, if any of you follow... Um, uh, Shannon's channel. She has two channels, Shay Marie. Um, I think that's the channel that she mentioned it on, and I can link that video if you have no idea what it is, because I had no idea until she mentioned it. I did it once, um, maybe last month. It's hard. Um, it's so basically you have five bites. You have so you can eat two meals um, every day, and those two meals can only consist of five bites. 
So I only lasted two and a half days. I was really hungry. Um, and I think maybe if I had started back in 2016 when I was doing the military diet, I honestly would have done better. But now that I'm just used to eating, I don't know. I don't know. It was hard. Um, I was thinking of doing it again because I did lose three pounds from it. Because at that point, I was kind of stuck from uh, stuck at 195, uh, 195, 196. Um, so I lost three pounds from, from it and got to the low 190s. But now I'm kind of stuck again. And it's just because I'm not being consistent. Um, but yeah, uh, so if you need a jumpstart military diet, the five-bite diet, um, I think those are good kind of jump starts. And I, I've heard about detoxes. I don't know much about those, but um, I think that's probably an actual healthy jump start to your, you know, whatever new diet that you're planning. But um, yeah, I wasn't going to talk more about what I ate, but I think I'll just save that for another video because right now we're at 15 minutes and that's a lot of rambling. So um, yeah, so I definitely encourage people to give Weight Watchers a try. If you tried it before and it didn't work, Give it another try. I don't think it's too expensive. Um, I know a lot of people use my fitness pal, which is free. I try to do that, but it's just so tedious. Like you have to track everything. Whereas with Weight Watchers, like I know an apple is zero points. I know eggs is zero points. So it's just a little bit easier to me. Um, and I just like how it looks. And maybe um, in another video, I'll take like a screenshot of how the app looks. I really like the app. So, so that is it. That um, were all the things I have done to lose 100 pounds. Um, my goal weight is 150 for right now. I don't remember when I've ever been uh, 150. I've been in 200s and higher for a long time. So uh, I'm excited to see how I look and how I feel at 150. And uh, we'll just kind of go from there. So I still have 40 pounds to lose. But looking back, the fact that I've lost 100 pounds, I feel like 40 pounds is nothing. So I know I'll get there. I'm pretty positive, um, even if I'm at kind of like this plateau. Uh, so yeah, so um, if you watched all the way all the way to 17 minutes of me talking, um, that's fantastic. And I hope you gained something from it. Um, if you've tried anything, definitely put it down below in the comment section for other people to... Uh, read and see and so for me to see if you know I Weight Watchers is something I'll always stick to I don't think I'm gonna quit it but I will I don't mind trying other things kind of with it so anyways um, thank you all so much for watching definitely go check out my other video if you want it's just a little background before um, I started actually getting serious about my weight so um, have a good day bye